Here's an example. Five players left in the big 55 on PokerStars with over 18,000 for first. I've been pressuring the table with constant aggression, as I should be in this situation with the big stack. And, well, now it seems the player on the button, he's decided it's time to play back, but with just a min raise here, which makes calling for me with these stacks in this situation relatively easy despite the positional disadvantage. Given what's at stake, and the fact there's a couple of shorter stacks out there, and this guy may be a little tense about that, his min raise preflop could be an initiative taker with Queen King or Ace 10 or something like that. Of course, I guess it could also be a big hand, though even a big hand might raise larger preflop rather than offer such lucrative odds to an aggressive player given the magnitude of the situation. Basically, I'm saying I'm skeptical of his hand strength. But do I want to make a move at this pot on the flop? Well, first we'll hit the turn around 16% of the time since we have 8 outs. We also have some backdoor flush outs and our pairs could be live. We could also make a move later in the hand. Moreover, we only have to call around 100,000 and with 400,000 in there, we're getting close to 4 to 1, which is 20%. But we just said we are only 16% to hit by the turn, right? But the implied odds and future possibilities will surely make this a profitable call. The other option, semi-bluffing, I think our opponent is unlikely to give us credit for a hand. True, sometimes he might just give up and fold a hand like Queen King, but I think a lot of the time he might re-raise, since given we'd been aggressive, and we'd basically only be representing trip nines or better here, He's just not going to believe our story. He could make it tough for us with a re-raise, or I guess a float, and we'll have to give up our equity or potentially put the pressure back on him with more aggression. But that's committing a lot of chips at this stage of the tourney for this moderate draw. And there's still some chance he has the goods, of course. So I take the calling line, and the turn really makes things interesting. I check it over, and our opponent continues to tell his story but I suspect he'd likely barrel a lot in this spot, so this bet doesn't necessarily narrow his range much. He could have draws, nothing at all, or steal the hand he's trying to represent, a big pocket pair. What are our options? Well, although calling still has some merit, we now have presumably 15 outs or 30% equity, and that's even if he has the over pair, which we aren't sure of. We have a great stack size to leverage here, given the SPR, which is something we talk more about in Lesson 4.2. Importantly, we now get to be the last aggressor, tell a convincing story, and in fact it looks like we have a straight, full house or a nine if you think about it. And this move applies a lot of pressure and folds out the majority of the range we constructed for this opponent and allows us to pick up 739,000 or around M10 at this critical stage of the tourney without a showdown, which is huge. Fold equity and pot equity. In this situation, our opponent only needed to fold just over 20% of the time, and I think he's folding the majority of the time here.